Uh, but the other night I was doing that uh, April Foolishness for uh, Kevin and Bean, who I want to thank for having me on that. We did it down at the uh, the Shrine Auditorium. So you guys like the birds chirping in the background? Somebody mentioned to me that's fucking hilarious listening to me going off on shit with birds chirping. I usually don't do uh, um, do my fucking podcast in this room. I just do it because it's the furthest one away from my daughter who's sleeping. You know, I don't want to hear me dropping all the F-bombs. So anyways, the end of the show comes, right? And everybody's shaking hands. Oh, you were great. No, you were great. No, I like how your mind works. No, I like how your mind works better. You know, we're all doing the Hollywood thing, right? Everybody had a good set. And uh, once again, I ran into one of these crazy fucking parents, right? This is fucking hilarious. This is what this person did. They said, oh, congratulations on your daughter. I said, oh, you brought it up. You brought it up. Now I got to show you a picture, right? So her and her husband are standing there, right? The young, young people, right? They look like they're single. They don't even look like they have kids. And I, I just show him the picture and she just goes, oh, yeah, it's so easy. You see, it's so easy. It's so easy. She started pointing at my kid going, it's so easy. I'm like, what the fuck is she talking about? I've heard she's adorable. She's cute. Oh, my God. Look at those cheeks. She's got, oh, yeah, it's so, it's so, yeah. See, you see, it's so easy. I'm like, what do you mean it's so easy? She goes, she goes, we have three. We have three. It's so hard. You have no idea. It's so, it just, she used my daughter's picture as a way to launch into how fucking difficult her life was. First of all, it's like, how fucking difficult is your life? The, the two of you look like you've been P90X and you guys don't have an ounce of fat on you. You don't have bags under your eyes. It's Saturday night. You're out at a show. Neither one of you yawning. And they were going, yeah, we had one, and then, and then we got pregnant again, and we had, we had, and I was going like, oh, and I'm sitting there trying to be empathetic. Oh yeah, you know, I hear, uh, I hear two is like a game changer, and then three, it's like you're outnumbered. She goes, oh no, we went from one right to three. Like we had, we had, we had twins next, and so we, two kids. We, I don't even know what that feels like. We, we don't even know what that feels like. It's just like, ugh. you know what? You don't know what, it, you don't know what it's like to be in a fucking log cabin with no fucking heat like they had 200 years ago. It's fucking hard. Get the fuck out of here. I swear to God, like, I, I, people like that, it's just, I just feel bad for their kids. It's like, you have to be, you got to be a fucking terrible parent. What kind of person has a kid, right? And, and all, all I do when I see other people's kids is I just think of how much that person must love that kid. They have to feel the same way that I do about my kid. And then I'm happy for him. Who the fuck looks at somebody else's kid and just and compares like, oh, it's so, it's so easy. Yeah, see, it's easy. <laughs> and then I go, yeah, you know, well, we're thinking of having another one. And then, then the guy goes, yeah, just have one. Don't have two more. First of all, like you can control it. Oh, they drive me up the fucking wall. I fucking, I'm going to say it. I fucking hate parents. Generally speaking, I cannot stand them. They're like, they're like fucking martyrs. They're like these fucking, it's like you, you put yourself in this situation. Shut the fuck up. You have three people that are going to be sad when you die. They're actually going to give a shit and they're going to show up and say how great you are. It were. Isn't that enough? Oh, it's so hard. You have no, oh really? With iPads and fucking 200 channels of cable. You can put them in front of a fucking plasma TV. It's like looking into a, a, a tropical fish tank all day for them. Yeah, they're soft. You know what I mean? I, I don't know. I just. Oh, God. There's so many times in my life, like, I wish I could just go back like that. I'm, believe it or not, I'm great in the moment on stage. I'm so bad at it when I'm off stage. You know what I mean? I'm just, you know, because I immediately just get to this anger level and then I end up looking like a psycho. Like, I wish I just said that to him. Like, you guys sound like terrible parents. Do you want to put your kids up for adoption so maybe you can go back to doing blow or whatever the fuck it is that you miss? <laughs> oh, it's so easy. See, it's so easy. It's so It's like, why would you say you don't have any fucking idea? Imagine if I had a special needs kid and you're pointing at it saying it's so easy. What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh, that's right. You're completely self-involved. Oh, oh it felt good to get this out. Oh, Jesus. I'm glad I didn't say it. I'm glad I saved it for the podcast. But wouldn't the podcast be better if I actually started saying these things 
two people. So then I would have the confrontations and then I could just, maybe I could then do a two hour podcast. Hey, who knows? Who knows? 